Welcome back to our nightly minute news. First in the news tonight, Wayne Voss pleads guilty for failing to comply with IC rules. Former People's National Party Member of Parliament for Westmoreland, Central Dwayne Vaz, pleaded guilty to breaching the Integrity Commission Act in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday. He is to return to court on June 6 when he will be sentenced. The guilty plea came just days after Vaz insisted he had adhered to the requirements of the IC Act and was prepared to present all necessary information to the court to demonstrate his compliance. The Integrity Commission had said the former MP was legally obliged to file statutory declarations for 2019 and failed to do so. It said Vaz was requested to provide further information by the IC and was aware of the request. Vaz's failure to provide the requested information contravened Section 43.1b of the Integrity Commission Act. The Director of Investigation at the IC said that the former PNP lawmaker was given an opportunity to discharge liability by paying the fixed penalty and submitted the requested information. However, he said that Vaz only complied with the latter and therefore failed to discharge his liability consistent with Section 43.3 of the Integrity Commission Act. Finally, in tonight news, JCTU joins call for withdrawal of Speaker's letter of reprimand to Clark to the House's Valerie Kurt. The Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, JCTU, has added its voice to the call for House Speaker Gillette Holness to withdraw the letter of reprimand for former Clerk of the Houses of Parliament Valerie Curtis. The letter cited Miss Curtis for gross dereliction of duty for failing to carry out the directives of the House Speaker in relation to reports sent to Gordon House by the Auditor General. The JCTU issued a statement on behalf of its 12-member unions calling for the letter to be rescinded and a formal apology issued. JCTU President St. Patrick Ennis, in a follow-up interview, said the letter issued is not merely a letter of reprimand, but rather one that would have warranted dismissal. Accordingly, he believes it is absolutely necessary that Miss Curtis' reputation remains unblemished with its removal. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share. Hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like share and comment down below